We are a Damast duo. We are uh, um, Damast in Dutch. It's, a, it's Damask in English. And it's a, it's a sort of a tissue that was made, or a technique to make a tissue in uh, Damascus in Syria. And this uh, technique of uh, making this tissue, this uh, traveled through uh, the Silk Road to in, in the Middle Ages. It traveled to Belgium. And uh, Belgium became a, a big center of uh, Damascus production in the Middle Ages. And this uh, crossover, like this uh, exchange of um, Arabic culture and West Euro Western European culture. This is uh, what we are trying to achieve in this uh, duo with um, Shalana Alhamri, who will play the violin, um, who came uh, out of Syria and now lives in Belgium. And I am from uh, somewhere in uh, the, the Waasland uh, region in between Antwerp and Ghent in Belgium. And we combine our forces and we make uh, arrangements uh, of songs with using European and Arabic ele elements. And on our CD, we make a, a trip between Belgium, between Syria and Belgium. And uh, along the way, we, we meet the different traditional music uh, of, the, of the countries that we visit. And um, so we, we will play for you this, uh, this travel, this trip, uh, by visiting the countries along the way. So we will go from Syria to Belgium in a musical way. And now we're on, uh, in Greece, and we start with uh, a Greek dance. Thank <laughs> you. 
the next tune I wrote uh, about three years ago and I dedicated it to my city. I come from Homs, it's a city in Syria, the third uh, biggest city. And um, it's a very old city, but yet, yet also very modern. And um, in the part of the city where I lived, there was like one of the oldest churches in the world and also one of the oldest mosques in the world. Um, but yet the days uh, of my youth there, it was like a very modern city and a lot of things were going on there. And I named the tune Old Homs. Uh, and that's the name of my neighborhood, the, like the historical part of the city. Um, in this tune, I try to imitate this uh, double identity of the city, the very old history and old also the contemporary, um, the contem contemporary side. Um, and in the music, it's like the traditional scales of the Arabic music with some uh, modern approach of the harmony. In the middle, there's a, uh, there's a piece uh, of improvisation and that's called taksim in the Arabic music. It's the traditional art of improvising in the Arabic music. So, all times. Southeast of uh, Germany, there lives there. There is a, uh, a, a group of people, and uh, they are Sorbic. They're of a Sorbic minority, and they have their own language, their own songs. And uh, we will play for you uh, a beautiful tune 
called Je Langer, Je Lieber. The longer, the better.
Our next stop in this musical journey will be in Hungary. Uh, the Hungarian musical tradition is a very rich tradition and it's very known with how passionate it is not only in dance music because there is a lot of dance music there very energetic dances and virtuosic and for the instruments it's uh, always challenging to play this velocity and this energetic music but it's also very known about how melancholic sometimes and how passionate it sounds and uh, we have chosen two tunes one slow one uh, like it's a love piece love uh, song and it's very passionate uh, slow piece and uh, a chardash chardash is like very traditional uh, musical form in hungary and in uh, east of europe and it's normally a dance music so two tunes from hungary <laughs> Thank you. 
10 years ago, um, when my grandmother died, I composed a song for her, a tune for her, which is called A la mémoire du passé, like a memory of the past, in memory of the past. And uh, when I composed it, I was, I was thinking about um, the last dance of my, my grandfather and my grandmother, and how she would have thought that a, a lot of things had changed during the years that they were together, but that um, some things, some important things always remain the same. A la mémoire du passé.